series on my channel called the town series where each episode I invite one of my subscribers onto the video to help me build a new establishment in the town. We've built gyms, cafes, libraries, hospitals and in today's episode aka episode Seven, six, nine. I think it's episode nine. Incorrect. I'm gonna say nine. Yeah, I'm confident with that answer. In episode nine, me and one of my subscribers are going to be building a five-star luxury restaurant. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So this is our Alich you know, Onyx Oasis. <laughs> I said that all wrong. I'm gonna call her Oasis because that's like a nice name. So if you guys want a chance to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel or for an extra chance, you can join my Discord server. So that being said, let's get started. Okay, now time to find where to build this thing. That is way too small. I don't even think we could fit like the doorway in here. <laughs> Salem side is pretty small. Like the buildings here are very minute. Also, don't ask me what's in here. It's a top secret, all right? It will be revealed when the town opens. Maybe we should build it on Samira Street. Okay, we know the school's gonna go back here oh wait what if we have like a lake view so like right here like this could be the restaurant potentially we can make it two-story we could add like a roof bar on the second floor yes okay maybe like a dark luxury girl i love you now the first thing we've got to do is sketch out the outside like i always do i'm gonna quickly do this like as fast as possible because i hate making you guys wait and if you guys are new to my channel you guys know how much i suck at doing layouts this is stressing me out but it's all right it's all right we'll do it i'm fine I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. So I'm thinking, right? It's gonna be small, but it is, it's also gonna include a roof bar. I mean, it's small, but like luxurious, you know? You know? You know when you know, you know? Oasis is probably watching me um, mess up this floor plan <laughs> like so many times. Oasis is like, girl, if you don't hurry up right now. <laughs> Hurry up. Maybe there could be some outdoor seating. Oh, actually, yeah, that would be nice. So, all right, so this is going to be two-story right here. This is where the little roof bar is going to go. Oh, I'm stressing out. I don't know why I'm so scared. Also, can we just talk about the fact that the last time I worked on this town series was one month ago? Was no one going to tell me? I just completely forgot. Okay, so I put a roof here because because I can. No, because this out here is going to be like outdoor seating. Okay, up here we can have like um, a small hedge so she knows this is uh, going to be the roof bar. I'm a changed person, by the way. I actually tell you guys what I'm doing when I'm building with you guys. I never used to do that before. I used to just build and um, you guys would just hopefully figure out what I'm doing, but... <laughs> huh? Wait, if this is a restaurant and I own this restaurant, does that make me Gordon Ramsay? Another thing I want to do for this restaurant is have a very like open concept, make it very airy. So I'm going to have some arch openings at the front here. Ooh, Oasis, what is this little thing you are adding in here? Oh, okay. I mean, that, that was going to be the kitchen, but... Go off, queen. Guys, stop. I just realized something about this town. The last time I done an episode on here was Halloween, hence why the grass is yellow. Is embarrassing. I need to change this. We actually need to get rid of this floor to add a floor on the floor. Why did I just say floor so many times? <laughs> oh yeah, these stairs oasis is definitely giving luxury. Oh never mind, just change them. <laughs> it's gonna be a tiny little kitchen. Actually, we can always extend the kitchen into the basement. I mean, that's technically what we done for the cinema, and that worked. <laughs> oasis goes. The plot's so big in size, but overall the buildings are less than three times the size. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost, and it has a white refrigerator. Well, consider. Considering this restaurant is pretty small, I'm thinking we can have an underground kitchen. Okay, wait, what is this? Is this the bathroom? I'm confused. You know what, Oasis, you can figure out what's going on out here because I'm gonna work on the outside. Okay, do you guys wanna know something really weird about me? Now, before I tell you, you guys have to promise not to judge me. As a snack, I'm literally eating baby pickles. It's weird, I don't wanna talk about it. What? No, but like, hear me out. Baby pickles are so good. Now, what we're doing out here, usually with my builds, they're kind of all connected to one another. So we need to make sure to put like a round hedge around all the outdoor seating. I was just doing the floors. I just realized, what on earth is that? Okay, what's going on in here? Oh, oh damn. Okay, I look away for two seconds. Oasis already has a custom table. Some whatever this is. Okay. Yo, you want to see some real speed? Yo, I need to speed up my game. Like, the outside's not even painted. Stop. This is embarrassing. We need pillars. No, this is fancy. We need fancy pillars. I mean, it's a fancy restaurant, darling. What do we expect? Okay, what makes this like a dark modern restaurant, though? Planks on the bottom. Maybe slate for the roof. That's kind of giving like dark modern vibes. And then over here, we're going to have our restaurant logo and a massive illuminated circular wall sign. And I think I want it right 
in there. Oh my gosh, you scared me. So you need to leave. It's literally like December. Go back to October, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> Oasis just goes, I need to turn music on real quick. There we go. Yeah, Oasis is in the moment. Oh, <gasps> stop. You know what she's adding? She's adding one of those, um, oh, I don't know what they're called. But when you walk into a restaurant, there's like these ladies that are like, hello, welcome. Let me sign you in. And there's like a little podium. I don't know the word for it, but that's what she's adding. And I really like that. And you know what? Maybe we could even have like another little sign here. So obviously this is going to be like a luxury dine-in. So I asked you guys to send me some decals for a restaurant over on Instagram and on Discord. And you guys sent me a bunch of good ones. So we're going to have the sign on the roof here. That way, if you're walking in Samira Street, you're going to see a massive sign. That says, drum roll please, the AV restaurant dine-in luxury. Y'all, Oasis lost world mode permission. I feel so bad. How long has she been there for? She's just been standing outside like, oh, let me in, please. Let me in, please. This is why I have to have my chat open. And then to make this sign stand out, we just need to add LED light. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Going to restaurants stress me out because I've got celiac disease, which means I've got to call up a restaurant before I actually go there and be like, hello. Do you have a gluten-free menu items? And they're like, no, shut up. And I'm like, oh, okay. I wonder what Oasis is working on in the inside. Should we have a little sneak peek? Oh, okay, black bricks. Damn. When she's a better builder than me. Oasis is like, watch out, Alaska. I'm coming for your career. Right, I think that's nice for the LED lights at the bottom. I don't want to go overboard. I want to have some hanging lights. See, that looks kind of vibey. So I think that's it for the outside of the restaurant. Now I'm going to go help Oasis do what she's doing. And considering this is a luxury restaurant, I think it's only fitting that we have a fireplace upstairs. Like on the little upper upstairs dining area and I stand corrected that is actually adorable oh, I see more tables and chairs going on well I guess I will help her with the chairs outside what screams I'm luxurious oh a, uh, a custom made table by Alaska Violet <laughs> Okay, all the tables outside are going to be marble. To make this luxurious, we're going to have one of those like fancy vintage candles with those very overly expensive romantic roses. Ooh, wee oui, wee oui, baguette. Je pour lunette au soleil, wee oui, wee oui, baguette. I love how I'm giving everyone Kona to my town right now. There is one, two, three, four people on. They all have Kona. This person, never met them, but they've got Kona. But I mean, like, it's you guys. I trust you guys. Are these chairs too fancy to have outside? Oh, who am I kidding? It's Samira Street. So we're gonna add like two of these. You know what I just realized, like just then? I've never had red chairs in Bloxburg before. Isn't that weird? Okay, one more little romantic table here. And then this three by one is gonna be a bar stool. So instead of a regular table, we can have like a console table with some of these elegant stools. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm at a restaurant, I, for the life of me, can never finish my meal. Like, no matter how small it is, I will always have a little bit left in my bowl. And my mum would always be like, finish the food! And I'm like, I will literally vomit. Actually, I'm not going to set up all the tables because I will like be inviting you guys at the end of the video. So <gasps> the inside of this restaurant, stop. The clipboard on the thing. Oh, I'm in awe. Okay, one thing I'm going to change about the inside is the windows. I just feel like we need some windows in here. Oasis just goes, the kitchen is also a tornado shelter and a lockdown area and safe. I prepare for the noble war. Speaking of, where is the kitchen? It's not here. It's definitely not in that two by one. Oh, we had it in the basement, didn't we? Oh my gosh, is this this little like two by one here? You're telling me we have to climb downstairs to get into the kitchen. Oh, we do too. Wait, that's kind of iconic. All right, you know what, Oasis? We, we need the iconic flooring. What are you doing? I love how I just deleted her floor without telling her. Every luxury restaurant needs checkered flooring. It's just a part of the deal. I hate adding checkered flooring though, because you literally have got to go in every single block and add tiny little checkers but then once you're done it's kind of satisfying painting it so there you go alex you got checkered flooring who's alex why did i just call her alex what wait is this play about us i don't know why but for some reason this is reminding me of ratatouille because wasn't ratatouille based in like a luxury restaurant i don't care how cute that rat is from ratatouille you never catch me eating anything he makes in the kitchen like imagine how the people felt in paris after they found out that like they were served by a rat i don't know about you but i would sue i'm calling the police! <laughs> We might make these chairs a little bit more gold, like that. Oh, and I just realized we also need our menu items. Well, technically, this can be the menu items. And then we'll just have, like, a framed outdoor wall sign. Right, let's check up in this kitchen. <laughs> I forgot about this movie theater. Oh, my gosh. These were the funniest movie posters I think you guys ever made. Five nights at basement. Oh, this is the vibes. This above the oven is so cool. I also saw this photo on Pinterest of a restaurant. I love how they've got, like, a booth here and normal seats opposite 
opposite this. So I think it's time to work on the second floor. As you can see, Oasis has already done some stuff. I love how there's just a gingerbread house on the floor. Like <laughs> this right here is where I want to have a booth. Are they expensive? Yes. There's no couch. They're just expensive. So I can't leave any of my materials just metal or plastic. I think it looks so bad. Can I be like super extra and put like a fancy pillar beneath this? And opposite of the booth, we're gonna have some fancy benches. Oh, that just looks divine, darling, divine. Slap a nice $4,000 chandelier. And I'm also thinking this wall back here should be a feature wall. My only problem with these paintings is like, what if someone was having dinner here and like the paintings fell on their head? Now, guys, do you want to know some, some sad news? Oasis had to leave, which means I have to finish this restaurant by myself. Like, what am I meant to do by myself? It's okay, I don't, I don't need help, okay? We can slap a coat rack here. Every fancy restaurant needs to collect people's coats. <sighs> guys, this is kind of depressing, just building by myself. Like, that is the whole purpose of this town series. So I can build with you guys, and I'm just building by myself. Okay, I'd say the second floor of the restaurant's looking pretty nice. I added windows all around here. Oh, guys, help me. I'm so bored. It feels illegal working on this town without one of you guys. I mean, it's practically done, but still. <laughs> Alright, so I think the restaurant's done. Oh wait, did she finish the kitchen? Oh gosh, she didn't finish the kitchen. It's okay. Why finish up this kitchen when I can just hire you guys as my chefs? And that is exactly what I did. I had two of my subscribers to work as my chefs. Can y'all stop twerking on me? Girl, what are you doing? This ain't an Ice Spice concert. Anyway, this is my chef, uh, Fox, and my other chef, Alicia. And this, my darling, is the AV Luxury Restaurant. A thousand dollar meals and a missing decal. The restaurant is all complete. And before any of you guys go, oh my god, Alaska, where's your hair? It's not working for me for some reason. As soon as I put on this hat, my hair glitched out and I'm suddenly bald. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just ignore the fact that I'm bald right now, okay? I've got long, luscious hair. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> just goes okay bold lasker and literally all of these decals by the way are made by you guys so full credits to everyone who took the time out of the day to make these decals literally have like michelin star gordon ramsay himself yeah if gordon ramsay approves i think you guys will approve too so i've got some seating here little booth moment we've got the second story up here and a little roof bar I mean, it's kind of dangerous someone can literally just like so uh, yeah, let's hope no one does that. And then down here, my chefs have been working very hard. But as you can see, if we come down here into the kitchen, we have a ton of food. All right, before I open the kitchen up to the public, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. That is what I like to hear. It's fine, group hug, group hug. We can do this team. All right, it's just a little restaurant, okay? What's the worst that can happen? All right, we've got people joining. I think it's time. All right, I'm gonna see what's going on up here. Oh damn, we got our first customer. Hello. Okay, welcome to AV Dining. How many seats would you like, sir? One, please. Oh, would you like outdoor or indoor? Outdoor, please. Okay, good choice. Two good choice. Follow me. Any of these seats are perfect for you. How can I take your order, sir? Yeah, I don't know why I'm like sneakily behind him. Like that looks so terrifying. I have meatballs with the sides of pancakes. Orange juice for the drink, please. Interesting choice. Right, okay, coming up. Oh, we've got some people. What is going on? <gasps> no, he's back. You're not welcome at my restaurant. Go away. You're not welcome. What is this? Oh my lord. Okay. Anyway. Like instantly, I was like, yeah, no. Alaska, it is I, the health inspector. Oh, you came a bit early. Well, you can have a look around. There shouldn't be a problem as we just opened. Well then, I shall. Okay, go on. Go on. There's nothing. There's nothing here. What are you looking at? We just opened. There's absolutely no nothing to be inspected right now. <laughs> the only thing you should be inspecting is those hands. Okay, back to ordering orange's meal. So, right, he ordered some meatballs. Now we just need orange juice because he had orange juice. Oh, wait. He also ordered pancakes, didn't he? Meatballs, spaghetti, pancakes, and orange juice. Um, interesting combination but <clears throat> anyway scott you're bald i know oh you changed i didn't recognize you okay sir here is your spaghetti and meatballs and your orange juice where did your hair go i don't want to talk about my hair right now okay it's a it's a sensitive topic <laughs> it looks like we've got a lot of happy customers today i'm actually kind of impressed do we have anyone upstairs no we do not yet okay hi alaska i'm very hungry okay so sorry for that what can i get for you I'm not sure we've got that on the menu. Oh no, no one's working at the front here. Okay, indoor please. Okay, follow me, follow me. You know what, she can come upstairs. No one's sitting up here. Feel free to choose any of these seats. Oh, what's going on right here? Um, um, excuse me, sir. So you cannot be on the roof. If people see you, I can get sued. No, 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 no more people on the roof. No, where'd he go? <gasps> he fell in the lake. I will be filing a report. Snatches bold cup. 
I know why you just snatched my- Oh! Oh my gosh! How's it gonna fall? Guys, help me, please! I'm gonna fall! Oh god, this restaurant opening is a mess. Laska, I got you. Okay, I trust you. Well, that restaurant opening was a total disaster. Well, anyway, guys, that was me building a luxury restaurant in my Bloxburg town. Thank you to everyone who helped out today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!